right, man. Uh, Detroit Lions move on from Isaiah Bugs. Seeing like he said his goodbyes. Also, Bruce Urban, his practice squad window. He said this is goodbyes. They also did activate, I think, before last game, Tyson Alalalu, whatever. So, um, and they will be getting Lee McNeil back for a playoff run. So, um, they're getting a few guys back. We're going to talk about their impact and some of the guys they let go. I think Isaiah Bugs have been on thin ice all year. I think they did a good job sewing up that middle, even with Lee McNeil being gone. And Lee McNeil provided them a little bit of juice. In the pass rush department, nobody else provided that at, at all. Um, and that's just what you're missing on this line's defense is a pass rush on the inside, a pass rush opposite. But Aiden Hutchinson, and then you're just really missing some corners, you know, that really can cut. You're probably missing that number one corner. I think you can get away with Sutton being your second guy because you can double bracket. You can do some things on the other side. I think Branch is good doing what he's doing, but – uh they gonna have some decisions to make, you know, not just with you know moving on from Bugs and Bruce Irvin as they get some guys healthy, but they gonna have some decisions to make, and I think some of the decisions they gonna have to start making is, and I've been saying this from the beginning, I'm gonna keep saying this and putting it out there, trying to speak into existence. Move Mello Final to your main corner spot. Move Cam to two. Key Branch at three. Jerry Jacobs and Vitor, they your backups. You know what I'm saying? And when Gardner Johnson get back, that would allow him, that allow, you know, and what made Mel what made Melifano so good, it allowed Kirby Joseph to go back to being a free safety, being a cover safety, where he ain't in one on one coverage. So now with Gardner Johnson getting back there, now he can do what Melifano been doing, you know, and that's and that's covering the safeties, that's covering the tight ends and covering it, you know, some receivers in the slot in one on one coverage. So now he can get a little bit more exotic with his blitzes as well, too. And you can move these guys around. Gardner Johnson covers receivers, slots, tight ends, backs. Melifano show he can cover at 6'3", receivers, slots, tight ends, backs. So now you can get a little bit more exotic with your coverage, with your blitzes and, and some of your coverages because now you got, you know, you, you got two guys that can really cover in Melifano and um, – and Gardner Johnson now. And now, you know, you move Jerry Jacobs and you move Vitor as, as your backups. Um, so you, you get a little bit better there. You get Lee McNeil back because he now you get a little bit juice on the inside. He pushed the pocket. Um, James Houston probably, he ain't playing Sunday. He a little bit further out, and it is what it is. You just got to be prepared to be without him. Um, so, you know, and then you get Jason Cabadina back, the fullback, and I think that's very, very important. Um, I think that's very important to get him back. Um, because I think when you go play guy, teams like Dallas and San Francisco, you obviously going to run and run the football. And I agree with what O.J. Simpson said about Saquon Barkley and the Giants, you know, a few years ago, give him a fullback. And let them run traditionally. Everybody, all these offensive coordinators want to be, you know, untraditional. It's, it's, if it's now more, it's more, it's a more than ever right now than, uh, it's more than ever right now that you want to be a traditional power football team, pulling guards, using a fullback, because a lot of these linebackers are hybrids. It's not your Dick Buckus's linebackers no more. It's not your grandfather's great grandfather's linebackers no more. You know, where they big physical run pluggers. These guys are built to 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 move in space and, and tie and, and cover. So you knew you got these fast and lighter linebackers as hybrid safety linebackers. You want to run downhill at, at those guys. And I think that was a huge mistake by Ben Johnson last Saturday by not running more downhill. And hopefully they they use the fullback because that's what that's going to be very very key in a, in a playoff run is, is is using that fullback. In my opinion, they gonna need to use the fullback. I really do think they gonna need to use the fullback. You know, and get them and get them going down downhill and making those major collisions downhill. Man, that's what I really think. They gonna need that full. They gonna need them need the fullback. So we'll see, but uh, I think they really gonna need him short yardage situations. I think in situations where you're going against really good fronts like the 49ers and the Cowboys, 
you're going to need to run behind that fullback. So, you know, Bruce Irvin, he made a little, you know, he made a little bit of something happen in that Saints game. And, you know, they probably could use that pass rush and that speed off the edge because I ain't seen Charles Harris do a damn thing this year. And I ain't heard the Julian O'Cora name in a minute either. So, mm, maybe they value them more than him. But uh, Bruce looked like he had more juice in his legs than a lot of those guys out there, in my opinion. But I probably would have got rid of Charles Harris before I got rid of uh, Bruce Irvin, in my humble opinion. But, I, I mean, that is what it is. But now they're getting healthy. Um, a lot of these guys going to get snaps come Sunday with the starters. And um and work their way back in and then you know it look like more than likely you're gonna go see the Rams. Um Rams gonna come to Ford Field and uh you know hopefully they be a little bit more healthier, you know. You know, some rust they gotta get knocked off. Um Lee McNeil played more games than Gardner Johnson, but we'll see. Gardner Johnson is the mouthpiece in the back end, a veteran player, a guy that could take the ball away, and what what allowed them to be better is moving Tracy Walker to the bench. And allow Melifano to do, you know, to do what they was asking Kirby Joseph to do when Gardner Johnson went out, and that was cover a lot of these guys one on one. Now you got Gardner Johnson back, who can cover these guys one on one. Now you can put Melifano and cover the the team's best receiver. You just live and die with that. Hopefully, I would probably sit Cam Sutton, allow him to rest his toe. Anybody that's banged up, I would allow them to rest come Sunday, and then you you go from there. You allow Melifano to cover the team's best receiver, Cam Johnson to get the second, let Brian Branch get in the slot, and you go from there. Let Lee McNeil anchor the middle. The linebackers, they playing really, really well. Nobody talking about how Campbell and Anazoni is playing. They playing fantastic football right now. So, um, you know, if you can get that back end stabilized in the coverage and communications, and they've been doing well blitzing and some of the things being more aggressive, I think they could be okay, you know. Um Vidor getting built beat on that that deep that deep post, that was Derek Barnes' fault. But then again, if you if you got somebody that's gonna challenge CD and run with CD, a more you know somebody like Melifano, it wouldn't have been that easy of a catch. So, but that still falls on Derek Barnes for missing that blitz. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Uh, hit the link tree. Like I said, you can find me everywhere there, man. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.